One of the most prominent queens of England during the medieval period was Eleanor of Castile, the wife of Edward I, a man who is remembered for being the hammer of the Scots. Edward's life was lengthy, and his reign was dominated by campaigns in Wales and Scotland. However, Eleanor was very close with her husband, and she accompanied him on a number of campaigns abroad. But in November 1290, she died after being taken ill, and her husband was heartbroken. And for this he had Eleanor buried in a huge funeral, and Eleanor crosses or monuments were made across England to signify her final journey to her burial place. But did you know that Eleanor of Castile was actually buried in three different places, and today her remains are still separate? Join us today as we look at this, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Eleanor of Castile was a very well-educated woman, and she was a fan of culture and literature, and she was also a woman ahead of her time. However, she was importantly the daughter of the King of Castile, and shortly before she turned 13, she met her future husband, Prince Edward of England, for the very first time, and he would later become the king, being crowned Edward I. An alliance had been drawn up between England and Castile, which was hoped to end any future hostilities between the two nations, but the pair both believed that the French were a major threat. After their marriage, Edward and Eleanor endured a happy marriage, and the Queen would give birth to 16 children, but many of these died in infancy, and she gave birth to the heir to the throne, Edward II. But as well as controlling England later, they would oversee the English lands in France, but the pair were involved in civil war against the baronial leader, Simon de Montfort, earlier, and Eleanor even accompanied her husband on a doomed crusade, but during this, Edward was wounded by an assassin, who attacked him with a poisoned dagger. Following this, it's believed that Eleanor extracted the poison from her husband by sucking it out of his arm. But after the death of Edward's father, Henry III, Edward and Eleanor were crowned in August 1274 inside Westminster Abbey. Following being crowned, the pair visited different parts of their kingdom and embarked on different trips, but Eleanor then possessed many different houses and properties that would help her bring in money. She did accompany her husband on his conquests, and he built many castles in Wales, and Ella of Castile the Queen also stayed in them. But throughout her life she was a very healthy lady, despite the fact she became pregnant a huge number of times, and many of these ended in tragedy. But Eleanor, following the birth of her last child, needed significant medical intervention, and her health did go downhill. The royal household was seen as purchasing many different medicinal items and ointments for the Queen, and records of this still exist today. It wasn't known what the Queen's illness was, but one report from a member of the royal court claimed that it was a double quartan fever, meaning that she was possibly suffering from a strain of malaria. However, this disease, even at the time, was not fatal, but it often left the sufferer vulnerable to other problems. A few of the Queen's internal organs, such as her liver and spleen, may become affected, and she may have also suffered from cardiac problems, which were known to run in the family of the Castilian royals. However, it was quickly established after this that Eleanor the Queen was rather ill. There were arrangements made to marry two of her daughters quickly, and during a summer progress in 1290, the court moved at a very slow pace because of Eleanor's fragile state. Parliament was gathered in Clipston during one stop, and her children then visited her, but following the end of this Parliament, the King and Queen travelled to the major city of Lincoln. After this, Eleanor could not travel long distances, and her last stop was in a small village, and because of the Queen's health, further travel was not advised. Eleanor stayed in the house of a man named Richard de Weston, and whilst inside of this home, she received the last rites from a priest. On the 28th of November 1290 in the evening, Eleanor of Castile died with her husband, Edward I, sat by her bedside. Following her death, the Queen's remains were embalmed, which was traditional at the time, and in this her vital organs, including her heart, intestines and other organs were removed from her body by a physician, who cut them out via an incision into the stomach. This cavity was then filled with spices to keep away decay, and the internal organs were placed inside of other boxes. This was a normal occasion for a high-profile death during the medieval period, however what was strange was that Eleanor was actually buried in three different places, while parts of the Queen were. She was subjected to what is considered a triple burial, and her body was placed in one site, her internal organs another, and her heart then buried somewhere else. But where were these parts of the Queen buried? 
the internal organs which included the kidneys and intestines of the Queen were taken to Lincoln, then they were then buried inside of Lincoln Cathedral. Edward I later commissioned a duplicate tomb made for his wife to be placed inside of the cathedral, and the entrails of the Queen were then placed inside of this tomb, and it's believed they may still be there today. However, the Queen's heart was not buried here, and it was actually buried inside of London, but it would not be buried in London with the rest of her body. The Queen's heart was placed in a vessel, this was then buried in a Dominican priory, found in the Blackfriars in London, and her heart was placed with her son Alfonso, who was also buried there. But there were then accounts that a monument was constructed for her, and for the burial of her heart, and this was also complete with a number of wall paintings and statues, and the heart was held under a stone canopy. However, during the dissolutions of the monasteries, during the reign of Henry VIII, this monument was destroyed. However, what happened to the rest of Eleanor's body? Well, the Queen's body and corpse was taken to Westminster Abbey, and her body was then buried inside the heart of worship in England, and today she is still buried there. The journey from Harby to London was marked at each stop by the creation of an Eleanor Cross, but only three of these survive today. Eleanor's funeral took place on the 17th of December 1290, however her body was then placed in a grave near to the high altar, and it was said these once held the bones of King Edward the Confessor. The remains of King Henry III were in this grave also, but his body was moved to a new tomb later. Eleanor of Castile was then placed in her own tomb when it was finished, and she ordered the creation of this before she died. On her tomb, the Queen is shown in marble complete with her coat of arms. But today, Eleanor of Castile is remembered as a Queen, buried in three different places. Her internal organs were buried in Lincoln Cathedral, and her heart was buried in a priory in Blackfriars, closer to where her body was interred in a tomb. It's still there inside of Westminster Abbey today, and Eleanor is considered a brilliant medieval queen, for a man, her husband, who rampaged and caused chaos across Wales and Scotland. However, it is shocking that she was buried in three different places. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.